Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the biggest scam in life that no one wants to admit? How the fuck does health insurance not cover dental and vision? What kind of shenanigans is that? Didn't you hear? Teeth are your luxury bones. And eyes are too complicated for health insurance, but your brain is simple enough. We work the majority of our lives, during our fittest years of health, for the promise of a golden retirement, when we will probably too old and ill to enjoy it properly. First you have strength and time, but no money. Then you have strength and money, but no time. Finally you have money and time, but no strength. I saw this exact thing happen to my dad. He worked his ass off for his entire life, got hurt on the job and was forced to retire, but he at least did get a nice settlement from the injury but then immediately discovered that he had cancer, and died a few weeks after surgery to remove said cancer due to a blood clot that the doctors never spotted. He never got to enjoy any of the things that he always wanted to during his retirement. My dad died before he was supposed to retire too. And I've been close to people who have died in their 30s. Really highlights that you should plan for retirement, but make sure you live your life now too. Tomorrow isn't promised to anyone. The easy to join difficult to cancel subscription model. Pioneered by gyms. I cancelled mine as soon as lockdown started and I put together a home gym. Literally had to print out something from their website and mail it and then call them three times. That whole business model is based on people signing up, not going, and putting off cancelling due to a combination of not wanting to admit failure and the whole process being a pain in the ass. If everyone with a gym membership went just twice a week they'd have a real problem on their hands. It's funny that MoviePass kind of tried to copy the formula of a business model that only works when people sign up but don't use it. They found people actually like to go the movies though. The Wall Street Journal makes you telephone them to cancel your online subscription. They have the technology to accept subscriptions online. But not to cancel them online. Same with satellite radio and television. They want you to call so they can attempt to sell you more shit. Didn't at least California recently pass a law that if you sign up online the provider must let you cancel online. If you live in California this might help you. Elsewhere you might be fucked. Mom, tell me the truth and I won't be mad. My parents used to say. If you tell me the truth, I will be less mad than when I find out you lied. You aren't lying. You can still be mad. You are insinuating that you will find out anyway, so they are more likely to tell you. It's a psychological trick that's been found to work. The words you choose to use can have a huge impact on a guilty conscience. It's used in police investigations a lot. Their brain is no longer thinking can I get away with it it starts thinking what happens when I get caught. Edit, if you're interested in the psychology I recommend I know you are lying by Mark M. C. C. Elish and the interrogator by Hasjo Chimskoff. Or if you want something more video look up the true crime videos of police interrogations, a lot of true crime YouTubers will go in and break down exactly what the interrogator is asking forward slash saying and why they are using the specific verbiage they are. There's a lot of science behind it. 100%. My kids are early teens now and any attempted cover-ups are way worse than the crimes. Plus, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. My dad used to say, I'm going to ask you something. And before you answer, I want you to know I already know the truth. 50 ifs he was lying and I had to decide if I wanted to risk it all. Either way he beat me, so it was a real lose forward slash lose. Online convenience fees. My bank has free bill pay and will mail them a check if they don't have any other option. So now they get a check from me and the inconvenience fee is their own cost to process the thing, get paid slower, etc. That's my r forward slash malicious comply ass story for my HOA fees. I recently paid $10 in convenience fees at AMC to buy tickets online instead of purchasing tickets at the theater. Doesn't purchasing tickets online allow them to save money on having less employees run the ticket booth? I get that it costs them money to run a website but $10 for a convenience fee. It just isn't justified. No, number. It's just convenient for them to make more money this way. The subscription-based economy. This makes me so angry. Why does everything have to be a subscription now? I mean, I know why but I still hate it. I imagine it's a ton of easy profit. Instead of having to constantly advertise to keep you hooked and buying each month, they just have to hook you once into a long-term commitment. 
soon enough piracy will come back to the norm. With Netflix they had me from downloading to paying a reasonable price to watch what I want, then more and more companies jumped on back to where I'm not gonna fork over $100 a month for them all. I keep Netflix for being OG plus family members, will prop ditch if they crack down, Prime for shipping, and Disney plus for Star Wars and Marvel. Anything on any other platform gets downloaded. Pay a monthly fee for car features. Custom firmware will end up being better eventually. Office I pay for for family. Phones I've moved to buying outright when I lose or break instead of being on a plan. Removed. The entire wedding industry. To be clear, not marriage but weddings specifically. I'm happily married to my wife and we were content to do something special just the two of us, maybe spend a couple of grand and treat ourselves a little bit to something amazing. Cue the families getting involved and before you know it we're spending closer to 20 grand on one day and feeding a bunch of people I've not heard of before or since the wedding. 100% agree. There were three people at my wedding, which was held in a small bar before it opened. We were interested in having a marriage, not a wedding. Spent our money on a vacation. Still going strong 16 years later. This needs more up bodies. Widget forward slash rental forward slash anything $5. Wedding widget forward slash rental forward slash anything $50. Edit, I said the above comment needed more up bodies when it had 32 up bodies now it has 6200, edit now 16 Kelvin low. Wait until you find out about funerals. Ticketmaster. I used them to go see my first comedian. Got two seats priced at $90 each. My total was $313. I'm not good at math, but I knew something was wrong there. Their fee per ticket is just nuts. I ended up getting seats that were about $45 each and it still cost me almost $200. I wanted to get my husband Steely Dan tickets for Christmas. Tickets were $75 each. The total was $212. The fees almost equaled the cost of another ticket. I didn't buy them because hell number. Tip from inside the industry TM has a deal with Groupo that makes selling tickets there super easy. Always check Groupo for the show before buying through Ticketmaster. We buy almost all of our concert tickets through Groupo now. We can often buy two lawn tickets for just $40 to $50 total. Generally, if it's not on Groupo, we don't go unless it's something we just absolutely can't miss. Paying exorbitant amounts of money for health insurance, and still having to pay boatloads of cash for any doctor forward slash hospital visits. And then being denied coverage or charged extra because of some loophole or technicality. Oh yes that hospital takes your insurance, but the visiting physician that day is with an organization that's out of network so Fucking hell how are we supposed to know that? Edit, obligatory rip my inbox The number of upbotties and shared stories this comment has received is a testament to the fact that these aren't isolated incidents and so many Americans have struggled with this bait and switch insurance BS. Some of you are saying that they now have to inform you in these circumstances. This is great news, assuming they're actually doing due diligence to make sure it's really happening. I just have a gut feeling that the same people who would play this type of greedy malicious game in the first place might be the same people who might not inform you and bank on you not knowing any better. Edit 2, oh look at that. 10 why our cake day. Or when your doctor orders a test that someone at the insurance company decides is not medically required so you get a bill in the mail for $1,500. And then you spend months fighting it, telling them it is medically necessary. American private health insurance really is a scam. Reddit Awards. I like to think of Reddit Awards as micro trosicios that give you super up bodies in a free to play game. Which is why I don't understand how anyone on Reddit uses them. Works every time with these clowns. Edit, y'all got me laughing my ass off. If you give a million people a choice, you will always have a number of people making the worst possible one. This person said something real cool. I'm gonna pay this company to give them nothing. $18 salad lol. Water is $3 while pop is $1. E colon bottled water vs in can forward slash bottle soda, it's pop in Canada. One time I was at Burger King and ordered a meal item, and asked for a water as my included drink. Didn't notice it immediately, but they added $1 to my bill for the water. Hustle culture. Bought a gold membership in a greeting card MLM so I could send unlimited custom cards. 
My coach thought I was taking it seriously as a money maker, plus he wanted me to recruit more people for his dowly. He actually asked, are there any friendships you can leverage? Yeah, that made my skin crawl. My fiancé and I had to convince her brother last year not to join a pharmaceutical MLM. They had a website that described the different tiers you could achieve and how much you could make. Would have been hilarious if we weren't trying to convince her brother not to spend his life savings on it. They called it the 5x12 program or something. Basically, convince five people to work below you, then have those five convince another five people as well, etc etc. If you succeeded, then you would be estimated to be making around $500,000 per year. Know how many people that comes out to working for you. 1,220,703,125 people. So. Like 15% of the world population. We gave her brother that information and he still tried it. I'm sorry but the grind and hustle cultures only generate assholes. They think everyone else's goal is to be rich as fuck, working 100 hours a week. I just want to be able to pay my bills and feed my family. Anything after that should be time spent with my family. Former super hustle culture EO here. Lol this is so correct it's gross. My friends, my podcasts, my mindset at the time was money 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 I was Mr. Krabs, and anyone who didn't have the same mindset was stupid, trashy, pawns because well they didn't share a goal to be better. Fuck every single one of those dudes, podcasts, fuck em all. I was the worst father ever when I was making 5 to 6 grand a week. Now I make 80 Kelvin a year do something I enjoy, and I spend a lot of time teaching my kids about mental health cause fuck, all this stupid influence has some effect obviously. It's even worse that most of them have never had an original idea, thought, or business model. They just ride the wave of whatever is popular and call themselves entrepreneurs.